Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about fractions. A fraction is a number representing a part of a whole. The whole may be a single object or a group of objects. Also, you need to remember one thing that when expressing a situation of counting parts to write a fraction it must be ensured that all parts are equal. For example, 2 by 5 is a fraction. Here in the fraction 2 by 5, 2 is called the numerator. And 5 is called the denominator. For example, here we want to find out that what portion of the given picture is shaded. So first of all, let us count the shaded parts, which is equal to 3. Now let's count the total parts. This is equal to 7. Now here as we can see that all the parts are equal. So shaded portion is given by 3 that is shaded parts upon 7 that is total parts. So 3 by 7 is the fraction which represents the shaded portion of the given picture. Now let's learn. How to represent a fraction on a number 9? Suppose we want to represent the fraction 3 by 5 on a number 9. Now we know that 3 by 5 is greater than 0 and 3 by 5 is less than 1. So this implies that 3 by 5 lies between 0 and 1. So now let's draw the number line and here let us mark 0 and here we will mark 1. Now we have denominator 5 so we will divide the unit length between 0 and 1 in 5 equal parts. Like this. Now this we have 1, this 2, here we have 3. So this point represents 3 by 5. So here we have represented the fraction 3 by 5 on the number line. Now let's see what is a proper fraction. In a proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. For example, 2 by 5, 1 by 3, 7 by 9 are all proper fractions. Also, remember one thing that proper fractions 
are always less than 1. Now our next topic is improper and mixed fractions. First of all, let us see what is a improper fraction. The fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. For example, 5 by 2, 7 by 3, 9 by 8 are all improper fractions. Now let's see what is a mixed fraction. An improper fraction can be written as A combination of a whole and a part. And such fractions are then called mixed fractions. For example, 2 and 1 by 2 is a mixed fraction which is a combination of a whole and a part. Now let us see how to express an improper fraction as a mixed fraction. So suppose we want to express the improper fraction 11 upon 5 as mixed fraction. First of all, let us divide 11 by 5. So we will get 2 as the quotient and 1 as the remainder. Now, mixed fraction is written as quotient, remainder, upon divisor. So here 11 upon 5 will be equal to quotient that is 2 and remainder that is 1 upon divisor that is 5. So 11 upon 5 is equal to 2 1 upon 5. Now let's see how to express a mixed fraction as a improper fraction. So suppose we want to express the mixed fraction 7, 3 upon 4 as an improper fraction. Now the improper fraction will be written as whole into denominator plus numerator upon denominator. Where whole is the whole part of the mixed fraction which is 7 over here. Numerator is 3 and denominator is 4. So, the mixed fraction 7, 3 upon 4 will be written as whole that is 7 into 4 plus 
numerator that is 3 upon denominator that is 4 and this will be equal to 31 upon 4. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.